Do you like the feel of the rush of a real jet fighter taking control, doing barrel rolls and be part of a real naval team? Guess what? This ain't it, dog. Tomcat Alley is a Sega CD game released in 1994, which barely resembles everything I just said. The Sega CD was one of the early 90s chosen devices to develop amateur hour, full motion, quote, video games. What they actually were, were an excuse to make use of the CD capabilities with enhanced audio quality and, what you see here, cheese crusted corny video footage of B actors and small sets. Some full motion video games were actually good. They made you feel you were actually doing the input and had you immersed in the whole thing. Tomcat Ellie, however, does nothing. Absolutely nothing to make you feel that way. Imagine me being 12 years old actually thinking this is it. This might be the best F-14 jet fighter game ever made. Look at the back. It's got everything I need, man. Well, the box doesn't lie at all. In fact, that's all there is to it, dog. Playing it now for this review has been one of the most boring and dreadful experience I've had in a long time. I finished the game in three sessions, spanning multiple days in between. I wasn't eager at all to get back into this game, more so trying to avoid it. While this game could be finished in an hour or so if you sit through it. That is, if you have the patience and will not to facepalm every 10 seconds. Just to make it clear, Tomcat Alley is not a video game. What this is, is just a random generated stitched together puzzle with an invisible dice factor of luck or bad luck. The only thing you need to do is navigate and point your awkwardly slow marker towards a selectable option. Either being it missile selection for air or ground, talking back to your wingman slash girl and taking mission photos. That's one part of the game. The other final part is to take down enemies in one of the absolute worst games of whack-a-mole you will ever play. But what is this game about? To be honest, it's very, very thin. Something about a Russian general trying to invade the US, you have to kill him. The game starts you off at long intro where you see our hero arrive at a top secret base somewhere in the desert. This guy drives for miles and miles just to get to work. Oh, and there's a screaming cat lost in the desert screaming at airplanes. He gets dropped off, then has to walk for miles towards the entrance. I think they rented this car for this scene, as the side door is taped off so you can't see the rental company. It's too grainy to actually have a good look, but that's what I'm going for. Apparently the player is also in the desert. We get no indication of how the player ended up here. Cause who cares for consistency and logic, right? Alright, thanks dude, I'm fine, I'll just starve here in the desert, take the cameraman instead, okay bye. Just to let you know, this game had an actual writer and producer called Mr. John Zur Plotten. And Mr. Plotten, let's be honest. Tomcat Alley isn't your finest work and I'm glad you've upgraded yourself in the world of writing scripts for greater games like Fear Effect and Fear 2. All of this, this is just flat out hilarious. This whole game is hilarious. The acting and spoken dialogue is so bad that it's enjoyable and embarrassing at the same time. Even when playing this game by myself, I was real life face palming. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pure cheesy and epic 90s writing. I'll let these scenes speak for themselves. We punched out over friendly territory. He followed his orders. If I followed orders, I wouldn't be here. That's correct. All right. Enough. Sorry to disappoint you. We didn't need these. I knew you'd get the job done. Really? Really. Now why don't I believe you? Peppermint. Quite refreshing. So the story, acting and dialogue are utter trash. How about the rest then? You will amaze yourself about how this isn't a game. Like said, it's super random woven together sequences of planes flying, dodging missiles, in plane dialogue, planes exploding, all shot together in a fast MTV style kind of way so your heart may get pumped. It just doesn't work. The developers try to mash so much of these video sequences together trying to make coherent gameplay but it's just annoying with all these fast random video shots. Not only are they random, sometimes they don't make sense at all. An enemy flies literally towards you, you have to evade that but you have to avoid a missile in the end? How does it even add up? 
there are times where enemies just pop up behind you when a few seconds ago they were in front of you. They also fire missiles backwards apparently, because if you don't act fast enough, they fire a missile while you are behind them. Now I could just forgive all of this if the gameplay wasn't so bad. You are known as Shadow 5, while your wingman slash girl is Shadow 3. Shadow 3 is there to protect you, you know, like a wingman should in real life. It's the other way around, you have to save her countless times while she just hovers there. In this game, Shadow 3 does absolutely nothing other than make stupid comments, rolling her eyes with the same footage being used over and over again, only with other dialogue to add to the laziness. Useless. So you select a waypoint by navigating with the d-pad in the slowest manner, watch stock footage of 3D rendered tomcats and select a next target. This is all in a tight timer of a few seconds, respond a second too slow and it's game over. Fail to insert the next waypoint and this happens. Let's do it, give me the first waypoint. What the? We're losing the ramp jets. Engine malfunction. We're powering down. Absolute realism at its best. What if Google Maps would thought you were too slow in entering a destination? Let me see. Uh, I need to go. Then there's the only part of gameplay you encounter. The best way to explain it is that it feels like you're dragging a dead body around while a mosquito is driving you insane with this annoying sound flying circles around you. When you lock onto an enemy it feels like melted cheese and a sandwich collide. But you have to keep the cheese and bread in the same place or else they'll slide off and separate. How's that for references? You then launch a missile with your middle finger and rebel model kits explode. Now I think this is where John Zur Plotten and his team had the most fun. Just destroying model planes in all possible ways with fireworks. It's all good fun and I think I and many others enjoy this part the most. It's so obvious that these are fake but it's so good. Look at the ropes on this guy. So next to destroying random Russian jet fighters in open airspace, you need to take photos of areas. Which is the dumbest thing to let an F-14 jet fighter do just aside. And on two occasions you need to drop bombs on a bridge and a factory. Where their planes have an indicated mark, an area of lock to shoot, these FMV sections do not. It's just random, hoping you push the button in the correct spot. I had to do this section about 8 times before I finally aced it. But it's enjoyable to see Shadow 5 in anger all the time, being mad at me. So you do this over and over for almost 45 minutes long with stupid cutscenes of actors hovering and leaning their complete bodies over a strategy table and then you get to initiate the final mission. Apparently the Russian general has been sneakily coming closer to the base and this whole Tomcat alley unit, that's what they're called, didn't notice a thing. You are sent out, the rest of the tiny model kits explode in the hangar and you have to solve this shit on your own. And the fate of Tomcat Alley rests in their hands. Man, this brother doesn't even worry too much. You destroy some more planes and all of a sudden the faceless Russian general is in a plane waiting for you to take him down. And what an anti-climax, just wow. But failing should have been the ultimate ending. And the explosions. This whole love, romantic thing between Shadow 5 and 3 is just so cliche. A testament to bad 90s writing, a trope where women were just love interests and nothing more. I'm glad that's over, and also this game. To wrap this shit up, this product is in 2020 utter garbage. It doesn't even qualify to be a game, can't even shed a light in other great FMV games like Road Avenger or Dragon's Lair. It is a lazy product in all manner when it tries to be a game. However, when it comes to its production value, I have to give credit for the effort. The exploding planes, stock, bot footage and the acting of the commander alone are worth watching. Successfully complete this mission and Povich is out of business. Now go do it. Yes, watching. That's the best recommendation I can give. Just watch a long play video and skip to those best scenes instead of booting up this relic with its long forgotten old ways. If you like this video and want to see more of these in retrospective game reviews, you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Or else you miss out on the next one. Give this video a thumbs up and tick that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next in retrospective video.